To start my project off, I was walking through Menards and I saw this, it's called Value Wood. And I want the look of this project to look like I took some palettes. But if you've ever worked with palettes, um, it's kind of time consuming to take out the nails or screws that are holding it all together and to reposition the wood in the size or shape that you want to work with. So at 49 cents a piece, these uh, pieces of wood are perfect. Now it is value wood, so uh, some of it's kind of banged up. But for the most part, most of these pieces are in really good condition. And the pieces that I bought that aren't great condition, I'm going to put on the back anyway. And you can go through and lay it all out on the floor in the store, which is what I did. And make sure you get the size that you want. And um, so it makes it pretty easy to plan out your project. So I have here, uh, like I said, 49, 49 cents a piece that I paid for these. I have them laid out the way I want them. And then I'm just going to take this screw, or not this screw, but mini screws, and just screw one into each of these so that I hold them all together the same on that side uh, only thing to be careful is make sure your screw is not longer than the pieces of wood you're working with or you'll have some little bumps on the other side and you be careful if you're working on your dining room or kitchen table but other than that I'm just gonna go ahead and do that I have here a light whitewashed coat for the canvas that I want to be able to work on and at, when I screwed it together I left some imperfections here. I didn't want everything to line up perfectly as well as I sort of intentionally have like this big gap here. Um, I just think that's going to add to the aesthetic of it. If you wanted it a little bit more perfect, obviously you could work towards that. But here I have some leftover paint. This was a sample thing that I bought from my kitchen to see what color to paint my kitchen. Um, but I love using house paint when I paint because I feel like I can get some really good deals in the clearance section with the oops paints um, as well as I just love being able to go there and pick out colors and mixing different colors together and feeling like I can save some money that way but anyway love working with house paint and I will be painting all of this with house paint but you could also use acrylic paint if you wanted to anyway I will go ahead and let this dry and then I can start painting my paint has finished draw, drying, and so I have started drawing uh, the image that I'm going to do on here. I was inspired by a plate, an Easter plate that I saw in a store. So I'm going to try something a little bit more complicated than a silhouette. But I've seen where somebody has taken a silhouette of a rabbit. Really, you could do a silhouette of any image for any holiday or any reason. And go ahead at this point and use this like it's a canvas basically to do words, uh, an image, anything you want. But I'm going to do a little bit more complicated because I just loved the rabbit that I saw on that plate. And so I'm going to try to do it. Um, but again, I've seen this done with just a silhouette and it's just as adorable. Here is the finished piece. For less than $5, I was able to create what looks like a palette. And then I painted it so that I have a blank canvas to make a unique and very seasonal item for my mantle. I know that I will be doing this again for other seasons because it was so inexpensive. So I hope you get inspired to get some paintbrushes out and create your own works of art for your mantle. Thanks for watching.